everyone and welcome to the barnyard animal pack and update 1.17 so today we're gonna take a look at this little zoo that i built for, for the purposes of this pack but we'll first explore the main feature of update 1.17 which is this new habitat walkthrough gate just kidding as great as this little gate is it is actually the animal encounters that we are here to see so as well as this we also get some sanitization stations where the guests will wash their hands after interacting with the animals so there are there are multiple animals that guests can interact with these being animals like the quokka and the rednecked wallaby among others like the capybara and the lemurs that we'll see in a second so guests will actually come up and interact with the animals as you can see here and just have a great time and I think this is a really cool feature, especially to have with animals like kangaroos and wallabies. Although, not with the kangaroos, unfortunately. Oh, look at this little fucker. Um, but yeah, guess we'll be able to abandon the path and go off into your exhibits and actually hang out with many of these animals. Stand right next to the sprinkler if they must. But I, I actually had fun making this habitat. But um, yeah, so... This new encounter system unfortunately doesn't include a giraffe feeding, as I was kind of hoping, but this is still great nonetheless. Guests can finally interact with animals, and we'll see that again with many of the barnyard animal pack species. So in here with this lemur habitat that I built inspired by Melbourne Zoo in Australia, the guests can walk up to the lemurs and interact with them. So I'm just going to see if there's any guests interacting with Okay, we got a ringtail lemur here. There's not too much of an interaction. The lemurs really just look at the guests' hands. But oh, look at this black and white rough lemur and ringtail lemur here just feeding. You really see the difference between them. But um, yeah, so that's just something that the guests will be able to do now. So you have to make sure you have a sanitization station in here so that the guests can actually go off and walk in the habitat so that they can come back, wash their hands, and make sure they haven't had any animal germs passed on to them and yeah of course having a habitat walkthrough gate is essential as well but it, it's pretty simple to get it to work and i bet you guys are going to have a great amount of fun doing that with your animals so before we go see the new animals of the barnyard animal pack let's have a look at some of the scenery pieces that came along this cobblestone wall is not actually okay it's a bit loud down there this cobblestone wall is not actually its own piece. I just used this as part of the blueprint. And so you kind of have to do that to be able to get this. So, um, yeah, it's unfortunately not its own piece. But hey, who knows? It might, might be updated later, although you could just do it as your own blueprint. But here we have a couple of the blueprints that came with the up with the DLC. So we've got this open gate. We've got this these market settings, some hay bales, an archway a tire planter and when we go to the original pieces we have a straw bale and a hay bale we also have the goat statue that you get once you complete the time scenario we have the signs for the alpaca the highland cattle the sussex chicken american standard donkey alpine goat tamworth pig and the hill radnor sheep we also have some some barrel planters a regular barrel a pail a crate some metal fencing that will really come in handy if you want to create a more open range sort of zoo as i could really see myself using this if i want to create another safari park we've also got a a new planter a, a milk charm there was this picturesque picket fence and a large new sign a pitchfork a turnip a leek and a corn cob a water pump and a water tower as well as a rooster weather vane as well as also this wind pump just had to check its name there so i could get it right we also have a well a a wheat a wheat batch and some wagon wheels as well as well as these wooden fences and posts so that is about all the new scenery pieces that we got now let's look at many of the animals we also got this barn as part of the pack as well at least I think it was part of the pack. It was either part of the pack or it came in the free update. I think it might have been part of the update. So let's start with the headline of the pack, the Sussex Chicken, which has been breeding like mad. So we've got the regular white variant that, that you can see here. 
And we've also got the speckled variants, which can appear on the roosters and the hens. We've also got the adorable little chicks just behind here. There you go, little fluff ball. But the chicken is really well animated. I think it's the only animal in the pack that has a unique rig, as I don't believe any of the other animals have a rig that you can't see on other animals. But I really like the chicken. I think it's a very great addition. I know some people would have liked um, some silky bantams, but I like the Sussex chicken. I think it's really well made. And yeah, I look forward to using this guy further in my zoos. At petting zoos, I should say. Now let's move on to one of my favorites because of the amount of time I've spelt, spent with um, little goats. Oh, look at this little fella. Oh, hello, darling. Yeah, I, I love goats. Goats are one of my favorite animals to hang out with. And yeah, they, these guys are no, no exception. The, look at his little face. He's just the cutest little guy. But the Alpine goat is one, certainly one of my favorite animals of the pack. I, I just love hanging out with goats. <laughs> And the goat's really well done as well. You've got these these regular brown coloration goats, as well as this melanistic goat that you can also get. You can also get some piebald goats. I don't know if I've got any, but I might. Let's just have a scan. Yeah, there we go. Uh, or should I say, there we go. That's bad. But yeah, we've got this little piebald goat here. And you can get some really cool variation with these piebald skins. This guy is definitely a male. You can tell by the beard. I don't know if I've got many other males in here. I think I just had... Oh, no, there we go. There's another Billy. Yeah, the goat. The goat's certainly a great animal to, to have in here. And I've put place of logs and some rocks around because goats are naturally adventurous. So, yeah, I, I can't wait to use these guys as well. The goat is certainly going to be an animal I'll use perhaps the most out of the pack. As you see a lot of petting zoos and just regular goat exhibits. Now let's have a look at the American Standard Donkey. Now we have oh, five of them. I don't remember having five as well as this little foal. But yeah, the American Standard Donkey is certainly an animal I'll probably use as well. Uh, I think this could come in handy for those uh, San Diego Zoo recreations I've seen many members of the community doing as I think there's like a donkey zebra exhibit. So this will certainly come in handy here. And I love this um, piebald donkey right here. This looks great. And I love how they, they rest as well, just like the Somali wild ass. Oh, whoops. There we go. Yeah, I, I like the new horse rig. The horse rig is great. I wish the zebra had it, but I guess zebras are different enough that they don't really need it. But I, the donkey's really well made. Of course, it is very similar to the Somali wild ass, but nonetheless love all these equine behaviors that they've got yeah donkey's really well made love the detail on the fur and yeah i'll certainly be using this guy a few times as well who knows maybe i'll recreate a certain swamp and speaking of animals that like playing in mud we've got the tamworth pig just hanging out here oh we got a little piglet oh he's all covered in mud he's tiny too now, I don't think the mud bath is actually part of their enrichment set that I've seen, but they can still um, play around in it a little bit. But yeah, Tamworth Pig, it, it's not my, it wasn't my number one pig choice if we were to get a domestic pig. Vietnamese pot bellies and coon coons were certainly up there, but the, the Tamworth Pig is still a very welcome addition, as these guys really do serve the purpose that you want them to serve. They are pigs in a pigsty. And yeah, I really like these guys. These guys are very nice additions. Not much else to say on them, really. I'm probably not going to use them too often. However, I could I could easily find a place for to put some pigs. Uh, let's see. Ah, well, I guess we're moving on to the bigger exhibit now, where we have our sheep. So we've got these little hill radnor lambs and our ewe here. So the hill radnor sheep is really well made. Oh, look at that! I didn't realize they stood on their hind legs when they um, came to feed from that. I don't know if that's something that this guy just has or that the other um, Caprons do. Oh, look at that. Love the detail on the wool too. Like the wool that um, was made for the sheep and the alpaca is spot on. It It's very well made. 
But look at these little lambs, they're so cute. Yeah, the Hill Radnor sheep is certainly one that doesn't disappoint either. I'll, I'll certainly be using it as it's a great sheep to use. It's basically your generic sheep that you would see in a petting zoo. But I think it would, it, yeah, it'll definitely come in handy alongside the goats. Look at these guys. Love seeing them. Let's see if we can find our ram. There he is. Those beautiful horns. And I guess while we're here, we'll have a look at our alpaca. Oh, yeah, he's running. Yeah, the alpaca is another animal that I'll certainly be using very often. As alpacas are very common in zoos and just petting zoos in general. You see them a lot alongside fallow deer and sheep and goats. And yeah, they're certainly an animal I'll be using quite often. As Yeah, look at the detail. The detail is insane. Yeah. Yeah, I really, I really can't tell. Is, does the alpaca have a different rig to the llama? Doesn't seem like it, but it might. Might have a different walk cycle. Oh, yeah, we got the guests actually coming. Oh, we got a little Kriya. Hello, little fella. Yeah, the alpaca also has some great fur variation. Well, is it fur? Wool, wool variation. Pattern variation, I should say. Yeah, alpaca looks really good. Oh, look at this little fella. Going to have a look. Check out the rubbing pillar. And while we're here, we'll also have a look at our Highland cattle. Another animal that I think has actually been well done. I know a lot of people weren't too fond of it when we first saw it, but looking at it, it could be shaggier, but I actually really like the fur texture. It really does give the illusion of a much shaggier animal. But nonetheless, I think it looks great. The Highland cattle, I think, has been done really well here. Like, I've seen Highland cattle every now and then, and they look just like this. So I think that's a pass from me. And, yeah, I'll, I'll probably be using these guys quite often too, as I see these guys a lot in petting zoos. Listen to those little lambs just coming by. We got, we've also got a much blonder variant of the Highland cattle. There's also a melanistic. But, yeah, generally, you'll see these darker red and orange Highland cattle. I don't know if you've got a more orange one around, but these might be as orange as they get. I'm not sure. I think this guy's a bit darker. Yeah, you're a bit darker than the others. I think that might be all of them. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, that's... Oh, look at this little fella. We've got a calf. Just grazing on the shortest grass in the paddock. Look. Poke your head up for us, little fella. I want to see your little face. In a second. Come on. Oh, okay. Let's see if we can get back here. Okay, yeah, that's not working. The cows graze for ages. Oh, here we go. Hey, little buddy. Look at him. Aren't you a little cutie? Yeah, all, all these baby animals will certainly make fine additions to any um, petting zoo. But yeah, this pack's, a re this pack's really nice. It's a, it's a bit niche for those who wanted petting zoos, but it certainly does a good job with the idea that I was trying to explore. And I think it did a really good job. And yeah, I like this pack. This pack is really good, and I'm glad we actually got it, because ending Plant Zoo without being able to build proper petting zoos... Yeah, I, I could see that being a little bit annoying, as I certainly would love to build more petting zoos, and now we certainly can. But that is about all. All we do also have another um, bit of foliage, the Budleia bush. So you can place many of these as you want. So we got a flowering, flowering version, but there's also one that doesn't have flowers that you can also place around. And there was also a hedge, but I don't think I've placed it around. Yeah, I haven't placed the hedge anywhere. But there is a bit of a hedge, and there's also... Oh, here we go. There's also the ginkgo tree. A tree that you'd probably know if you know anything about prehistoric flora. It's certainly one of the most famous trees, and does have at least one species still around. So, really cool. Oh my god, look at all those chickens. There were also some coops added, and the chickens can actually um, come up into here. That That's one of the um, other ones. Oh, look at this chickens in the coop yeah so they can actually walk up this which is great and this is just a very handy blueprint 
yeah, I'm really going to find some great use when I'm building little habitats for chickens. Certainly going to use this. Or create my own coop. We'll see. But yeah, that is the Barnyard Animal Pack in Update 1.17. Let me know what you think of this pack in the comments down below. I'm actually really proud of this lemur habitat too. It took me a bit, but I, I actually really like how it turned out. But either way, Barnyard Animal Pack, solid DLC. Can't wait to see what's next. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.